Hi guys, I'm Eric with CNK and this is Watch Eric. In today's video, I will show you my experience after one year on this journey of woodworking and the power tools and no power tools that I recommend you to start with best basic woodworking or carpenter. A year ago, I started the channel with one purpose and one purpose only. Inspire others like me with no experience in woodworking or DIY projects. But the more important, afraid to start or maybe learn. Year 2020, the COVID-19 year, show us that we need to be ready to learn how to do it yourself in case of the world stop. From fixing a faucet or building a desk to work from home. While watching YouTube videos, I found that there's a lot of channels and people that show us how to do those things, but they make everything look so easy. But also, it's easy for them because they have a lot of years of experience. Or maybe that's what I do for a living. Therefore, I want to create this channel for beginners from a real beginner. Like I mentioned in my bio, I have zero experience on woodworking before COVID. So basically I just start research and finding some tools and finding what is the best for me and if I can do it or not. So you can always start with something if you want to. I received these comments People that want to follow my journey and know which tools you can get for start woodworking or maybe to uh, at least understand what are the tools that uh, you need at the beginning because you can get a lot of tools but not all tools is necessary for start woodworking. Okay, first the top three non-power tools that I recommend you for start this journey. Okay, number one, have you heard that advice Measure twice, cut once. Okay, so for me, what I learned is that first thing that you need to have it for your job or for you is a measure tape and a pencil. So it's very important because you have to learn to what is the dimension that you need for whatever you are cutting and make a mark where exactly the position that you would have cut. Like we see here, I, I started doing this at the beginning a lot. So I was marking my, 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 my cut and then select it. Number two. Okay, now you measure and you mark. Okay, so you need to be, be aware that all the, the woods or, or the boards, they're not straight. So you need to make sure that you're getting a, a speed square carpenter. So basically you can measure and you can make a line exactly where, where are you supposed to be cutting because sometimes the, the, the wood are, is bent or it has a bow or something so it's not straight. So basically all the hardwood that you, you get from the, from the stores, 80% of them are not straight. So it's good to have one of these so you can make a, a, a square line so where exactly the location that you're cutting. So that's the number two that I feel I, is very necessary for start with working. Now, number three, clamps. I think there's a lot of this that it should someone tell me in the beginning, Eric, you need clamps. There's another, another advice that you said, you never have enough clamps. And maybe it's true because you start getting more and more and more because for different sizes, different for different shapes, or for different different uh, purpose, but at least these regular clamps. So it's really necessary because you need to sometimes you need when you're securing a board, so you it can move and twist and maybe it can uh, like a, not align. So this is really recommended when you are trying to align one board with another board or, or, or secure one board with the other one in the meantime that you secure it or you screw it. So I think this is something that never told me when I started the journey. 
So I really recommend any kind of clamps. So you can clamp your, 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 your piece of work to the, to the table or to the other board. So this is number three for non-power tools. Okay, so this is my top three of non-power tools that I recommend you for a start with working or carpentry. It's very important to you measure and mark and then create a line, uh, a straight line where you wanna cut and, up, and then if you wanna secure something, so if you can hold it with your hand, it's fine. I really recommend at least have one clamp or maybe two they're not expensive, it's like a eight bucks, 20 bucks, depends on each one. But these really simple push, push uh, clamps, I really recommend, I think is make your easy, make your life easy. And if you, again, if you, don't wanna, if you wanna start with working, I really recommend it because sometimes if you get twist or your piece work move because you're screwing or you're, or you're securing, you, you can get, get frustrated. And again, at the beginning of the woodworking is patient. So I know a lot of things you might not understand or they're not going to be well, but if the more patient that you have, the more succeed you will have in the future. Okay, now the top three power tools that you need for the start with working. Okay, number one. You, I know you imagine what's number one. You have to be able to cut. Okay, a lot of people think, oh, I need a meter saw. Oh, I need a table saw. But not really, if you, you start just the journey and you don't need to buy all these expensive machines, you just need a circle saw. So this is basically that the only thing you need for a start with working. You need to get something really expensive like a, a table saw, a meter saw. I think this little tool can, do, can make the uh, work done the same as the other one. Obviously, the other machines make it, make it faster and more uh, reliable or accurate. But if you use your measure tape and you measure mark and you use your speed square and you just trace the line and then you just follow that pattern, you will be all right. So for me, number one that I recommend is the circle saw. Now, for a circle saw, you can get one that uh, is uh, with no uh, cordless or one with cord. So it depends on of you, uh, then it depends on your price, what you're looking for. If you like something like this, you just uh, grab one battery and that's on. You're ready to cut. So it, again, it depends on your, your budget and what what is exactly what you need for. But the number one thing that I recommend for start with working is a circle saw. Okay, now number two. For number two, I think again, you might start uh, imagining like, okay, I know what is coming. So you need either a input driver or a drill. You can have both. Again, it depends on what is the problem for, for what you need. But normally you have two because this is for input driver, like you had a name is for uh, secure the screw, on a screw, or tie some bolt. And this can do the same as this one, but the main purpose is to drill, make holes on something, or pre-drill something, and then you will secure it. So again, if you have a low budget and you don't want to go, go big and trying to just start with the basic, I said one of these, either or, is good for start with working. And now you ask me, Eric, which one you think that I get first? Okay, for me, I would say the drill. Why? Because here for the input driver, you know, you do have these uh, uh, bits and basically you only can put the, the size of the bit that you're using, one quarter, but it's adjust to that bit. And the drill, as you know, you just can tie it on and tie any kind of size of drill or bit. So, yeah, again, uh, right now it's a, normally they sell in like a, bond, a bundle, or they say a package, like this two, with a good price. So you can have both, I really recommend both. 
If not, I recommend you to go with one, one or each one. Again, maybe you want to start with impact driver because you feel like you were secure more that drill. Because you can drill too with this one. You just get the drill bit that is basically on the one quarter size and you, boom, that's it. But I feel better for me, start with the, with the drill. Uh, when I started with working, I bought both because I want to have using one for each one, but maybe just me, There's a, I know there are people using a drill for everything. So that's the, basically these, these three things because here is the ABC of the woodworking. So you need to be either to tight or secure, drill, pre-drill and cut. So um, this three is the ABC for start woodworking. Again, I just recommend one, that's when I say, either or, but this is number two uh, power tool that I recommend for start with working or for beginners. Okay, number three. So now this, um, this is one that I, again, I wish someone told me this in the beginning when I was starting working like, a, Eric, I think you need, you need a sander. You need to be able to sand your piece of work or you finish work. So, and then I will tell you why. Uh, because sometimes you finish and you want to, you, you want to give finish to, to, to you, to your work, either paint, stain, or maybe oil. So in order to those that maybe 80% are, are made by oil, you need to sand with the uh, first 60 and then 100 or 120 and then 220 depends on what you like but you have to use a very uh, fine finish so you can be able to uh, the oil or the stain penetrate to those uh, arfas so so that's really what you need so for that i really recommend a sander it can be a small sander uh, um, again it can be a battery a power tool whatever so again you just plug it that's it, ready. Or you can have a core and a core uh, sander. So again, it depends on what you need for. I have two. I have this one that I use a uh, small, medium size uh, piece work. And I use this one, it's six inches. And it is cored. Uh, I use it on a medium, big size uh, piece work. So again, it depends on what you like. But I really recommend a sander for, for finish your work. Uh, I think I never heard when I started that I would need a sander, but uh, then I remember that I started with working and then I start, I give some finish. So it's stain, pre-stain. And I was just basically get a, a small sponge, a sand block, whatever, and trying to give a finish of that and then put a stain. And then I see that stain was not adhering correctly and I would see like a, some black spots or some white spots on the stain. So if you wanna give finish to your piece of work, I really recommend you get a, a, a sander. And again, it's not heavy, this is a, a orbital sander. Basically orbital is a, a circular shape. You can get a, a, a like an iron shape, you can get a square shape. These are different kind of shapes. But uh, again, I, at least I, you start with a uh, small one. So you know, if you don't want to make a huge thing, I remember at the beginning, you see one of my videos, uh, I, I use a, a iron shape. It was a very small one and it was not very like a fast. <laughs> I was spending like a, two hours, two hours on, on a table, uh, trying to sand everything with 120 and 220 and then uh, well, at the beginning 60. So uh, yes, so this is the number top three, the number three that you need, that I recommend. And remember guys, this is the power tools that I recommend for beginners. So maybe you, you say, well, I have a medium level expertise, so this is not work for me. But again, this is something that uh, is anyone is started this work, or maybe you have medium uh, uh, expertise and you say, well, you know what, it's true. I never think that I need a sander, a better sander, because I spend, like, like, like you said, I spend a lot of time sanding, so I need something to do it faster. So this is for beginners or for people that want to learn or understand the woodworking world. And again, for, this is for someone that is a beginner. So I, I still consider it a beginner, even if I do other extra stuff, or I have other tools, 
I think uh, for me, I'm not considered an expert because I do have one year experience. But uh, if you want to make that I make another video for medium level, I can show you another machines and other stuff that you can make the, the things easy and faster. And that's it. This is the top three power tools that I recommend for the star woodworking or carpenter. I know that uh, some of these you really can imagine that you might need. Um, but this one, uh, for me, it was a surprise because when I was making a list, like a, I don't give you like a top five, top 10, because again, maybe when, at least when I start this, this journey, I would not, uh, and I have a lot of budget to start because I was like, what if I can do it? What if I, will, I get, no, it's not for me. So I start with basic. I start getting these two and this, and this, this one. Actually, my first tool was the circle saw. Yeah, you would say like, it's crazy. You should have one of these first because in your house you have to be able to drill or secure anything or put a, uh, 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 something on the wall or whatever. So no, I, I was fixing my deck and I put, I changed uh, the, the deck board. So I used uh, a circle saw for cutting that. And then as when I, I, I found like, you know what? I need to, uh, to understand the tape measure. I need to be put a line and cutting because it's not like uh, the, the meter saw. You can put a stop lock and just cut it and you repeat the same cut specifically and, and, and pre precisely. So uh, I think this is for me, my top three power tools that you need if you count them, it can be four, top four. If you want to have both, it can be top four. But at least this is the, the first step, though, the things that you will need for startup power tools. And again, if you want to see one of my first videos I, I did last year, a lot of these videos I start with, with basically these tools. And if you need to cut big, big uh, plywood sheet or other things, you can go to one of those uh, yellow, orange or blue stores that for hardwood and they can cut it for you. So at the beginning, again, you don't need to get all the tools that I have in my shop right now because uh, you can start with this top three power tool, top four power tools, and then you can start from there and then you just get more experience. You can go getting more and more the specific tools. So this is my top three power tools and you have any question about this this uh video please put a comment below and you want any, any more example on other power tools i have you might see more tools but you want another example you want maybe top five so put, put it in the comment below and remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button because that helped me a lot to to be uh, uh identified by, by youtube and recommend my channel and in this this video and see you next time adios I hate cleanup. Uh oh. And this one. Uh oh. Adiós.